The Bidens are no strangers to scandal. Their public life has been marred by a salacious mix of sex, drugs and corruption. Their family story has all the markings of a Hollywood blockbuster. But unfortunately, this tale is very real, with very real consequences for the entire world. Sky News All-Stars Megyn Kelly, James McPherson and Liz Storer peel back the veil and expose the creepy underbelly of Hunter and Joe Biden's sordid personal lives. From the outside, the Bidens have always appeared to be a perfect American family. Money, intellect, power, and unbreakable family loyalty. But as much as the media has tried to facilitate the great Biden cover-up, cracks have revealed the truth about the first family. Joe Biden's own daughter exposed her father for taking inappropriate showers together when she was a child. But you won't see the media talking about it. Must I point out, in his daughter's diary, which we're not allowed to discuss, because why? Why again? Um, she says that they took inappropriate showers together when she was a child. And this comes as no surprise based on his string of creepy interactions with children, says Sky News All-Star Liz Storer. There he is. I mean, this is not appropriate behaviour in any parallel universe. And the kid's like, get away from me. Kids are like animals. They can sense when something's off. They're like, yeah, no, I'm not down with this. But to add to that large dossier that I was talking about, here he was today talking to kids who were visiting the White House. I want to say one thing to your children. I know some really great ice cream places around here. <laughs> and Daddy owes you. Yeah. So talk to me afterwards. Laughing. I mean, that is just so. Daddy owes you. I'll take you for an ice cream later. Hunter Biden's problems with substance abuse are well documented, but they came very close to home recently when a bag of white powder was found in the White House, says Sky News All Star James McPherson. Every time you think that the Biden administration can't get any more embarrassing, it's like they turn around and say, hold my beer, which of course is always Bud Light. In this week's episode of Biden Blunders, cocaine has been found in the official residence of the White House. Now, the Secret Service are investigating how the cocaine got there. Hmm, I wonder what it was, Liz. Do you reckon it came from a wet market in Wuhan? Do you reckon it was left there by a bat? The Wall Street Journal film critic Carl Smith said 350 57 former intelligence chiefs signed open letter blaming the Russians for cocaine in the White House Library. I love this headline in The Australian because everyone's laughing at this now. The headline in The Australian said, snorts of derision as cocaine found in the White House with a picture of who? Hunter Biden. Well, he did leave just two days ago. So we all know who he was there and what was happening. This gives new meaning to the White House powder room, Liz. <laughs> I tell you what though, Terrible. it's just another example of the decay of the West and another reason for America's enemies to laugh at them. But despite the very obvious evidence, the book was shut on this case, according to Sky News All-Star Megyn Kelly. It's so good to be a Biden. The press runs cover for you no matter what it is, whether you're violating tax laws, gun laws, um, trading laws, or you know fairness and ethical considerations in conduction of business, uh, the FARA law, meaning foreign agent registration. I mean, we get on the list. Even if you have cocaine in the White House, they will run cover for you. It starts with the Secret Service and goes all the way out to the media. It's absolutely outrageous. And for the Secret Service to have said, eight days, nine days after finding coke in the White House, eh, we didn't find the guy and we're closing the investigation. Tells you everything you need to know, Paul. I mean, there was no rush. Why did they have to close it? What was the, what was the hurry in actually closing the book on this? They said, well, well, there could have been 500 people who went through. Okay, why don't you take two guys have them sit down and start calling those 500 people and figuring it out. Let me tell you, if that Coke had been anthrax instead of cocaine, that little white powder, which is what they thought at first, they would find the perpetrator. They just don't care. And why wouldn't they care? Somebody could be going into the Situation Room who's on serious drugs. Even the original party boy, the Wolf of Wall Street's Jordan Belfort, could see the writing on the wall. The obvious person to point to is Hunter Biden. Why? 
because the action, like what people aren't focused on is why would someone take it out of their pocket and leave it somewhere? The answer is because when you're in that mindset of an addict, you want to have like little drop points that you can kind of sneak in, take a quick hit, leave it there for safekeeping, and come back. So it was being stored somewhere. In other words, you could easily keep it in your pocket, get in and out without getting detected. So the person that put it there had to be there on a consistent basis to keep using it undetected. Joe and Hunter have also gone to great lengths to cover up the existence of Hunter's secret child. But let's not mock the president too much because this week he did something he has failed to do for four long years. He finally acknowledged the existence of a grandchild and admitted that he has seven grandchildren, not six. Yes, another thing the bulk of the media has ignored up until just a few weeks ago is the undeniable fact that President Biden, who incessantly talks about his six grandchildren, actually has a seventh one down in my home state of Arkansas, little Navy, whose mother had to take the president's crackhead whore enthusiast son Hunter to court <laughs> just to get child support. Now, think about just how rotten a family must be, just how cruel and callous the grandparents must be to ignore the existence of an innocent little girl who should, with her cousins, be enjoying the rare privilege of having the president and first lady as her paternal grandparents. Instead, she had been shunned while the president talked endlessly about his six grandchildren, how dear they are to him, how he speaks to them every day, no matter how busy he is. I have six grandchildren, and I'm crazy about them. And I speak to them every single day. Not a joke. And they've also tried to deflect from the unorthodox relationship between Hunter and the widower of deceased Bo Biden. I want to get into what you just said before about Halle Biden, because to the average person, it would be kind of weird that his deceased brother is now dating or sleeping with his deceased brother's widower. And I've seen the photos engaging in sex acts and sending, illegal, uh, sending naked photos to each other. But is any kind of chat between the family, touching on what you were saying before, of it being a bit of a weird, like what was the response from the actual family members? Well, there's a really sad interaction that occurred in March of 2017 when the New York Post broke this story. And Hunter basically strong-armed Joe to support the relationship. The, the US president supported an affair between his son and his son's widow. You can't make it up. And Hunter was very happy that Joe offered his support for their affair because, quote, his daughters wouldn't have accepted it and talked to him otherwise. Joe Biden presents as a calm and even lovable grandpa figure in public and in front of the media cameras. But intel from deep inside the White House reveals a different story. There have been many accounts of Joe Biden's quick temper and scary leadership style. Joe Biden was a young yeller too. Ooh. And uh, so we even talked to staff that went back to the early 2000s. And the fact is that you know this is a guy that has been professionally staffed for more than half of his life. And he's had a long life. So it's been over 50 years where he's had people staffing him. And as a result, there's a generational difference too. You know, he's really, really tough on staff. And he already had that, as he calls, you know, get his Irish up. He already had that Irish temper and it'll really lay into people. And in some cases, you know, make them feel humiliated, make them feel embarrassed and really feel like, I mean, and truly be cussed out. The cuddly, chewy, sniffy, creepy Joe Biden isn't exactly the same behind the scenes. In fact, apparently he's a piece of work. It's great that the mask is finally coming off. I mean, now that he's really being challenged and he can't just sit in the basement because of COVID, he's got to get out there more to, if he really wants to run for re-election. Um, people are reminded of his character, his his granddaughter that he won't acknowledge, who's very much alive and knows he's her grandpa and knows that he won't acknowledge her and has to listen over and over and over again to him saying, I have six grandkids, not seven, six, not seven, telling all of his top aides, don't even mention her. Don't, don't talk about seven, I have six. Not to mention her loser father, who won't acknowledge her either. And she knows, she knows that these are her father and grandfather, okay, they don't care. Uh, the way he treats the staff, the abusive language, calling them names, trying to berate them, trying to belittle them in front of others as some sort of initiation into his weird club. Sex, drugs and inappropriateness are one thing, but perhaps Hunter and Joe's most damaging flaw 
is their history of corruption. You wouldn't know it following our media, but the political leader of the closest and most important ally Australia has is embroiled in a massive corruption scandal. US President Joe Biden and his family are now facing calls to explain the millions of dollars from foreign nationals that's found its way into their bank accounts. We've seen revealing text messages where a Biden family member is demanding payments from Chinese Communist Party operatives and whistleblowers, and it reveals a network of payments for policy all under the stewardship of the Biden family. But apparently Joe Biden was in the room. These make a mockery of Biden's claims to never have discussed business with his perverted crackhead son, Hunter. And although Joe and Hunter Biden have until now been unscathed from their lives of scandal, the mounting evidence is becoming hard to ignore, particularly in the lead up to the 2024 election. More of this continues to unravel, it rises to the level of impeachment inquiry. What that simply provides is that the American public